everyone, uh, back to The Gifted Ones, and I'm your host, Liz Throp, and we are going to be discussing all things from angels to zombies, and today we're in for a treat because I have a really incredible guest with me, Amber Price. Amber is an international psychic medium. She is a spiritual growth coach. She is a Reiki practitioner and teacher of all things metaphysical. Um, I can tell you as well the very cool, exciting thing that she's bringing into to the area this year is the Halo Awards. So without further ado, welcome, Amber. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. This is very exciting. Oh, my gosh, is it ever. So here's the thing. You're a psychic medium, first foremost, first most, right? Okay, yes. so what does that mean to be a psychic medium for you? Just a little loaded of a question, nothing big. Yes, that <laughs> is easy to answer. <laughs> so I would associate it with breadcrumbs and roadblocks, Beautiful. I would say. Um, I think that every day as a psychic medium, you're either following the signs that are being dropped for you, like the breadcrumbs, or yeah. you're getting your roadblocks, which is don't enter, don't come here, don't do this. I love that analogy. Yeah. It's so great. I figured that if I give into it and I live in this world of psychic medium and follow my breadcrumbs, my life should be a bit easier, right? Exactly. Well, that's the theory yeah. for the most part, right? Yeah. Now, when did you first discover that you were... A psychic or a medium like um, maybe we should explain to the audience first what's the difference between a psychic and a medium how I interpret it is as a medium I can communicate with people that have crossed over or deceased from the physical body into a spiritual realm right to deliver messages to the living as a psychic I feel like I connect to spirit guides or angels or the higher realm in order to deliver messages of future events that might be coming up in someone's right. life um, or current guidance of things that they're experiencing now. Now, let's talk about um, you as a teacher. You host a lot of different classes on a lot of different subjects. And I know that I got to um, come to one of your uh, one of your courses where you were teaching folks, I think it was like the A to Z of metaphysical things, yes. right? Like you were touching on, on broaching on all different topics, mm -hmm. but I was there specifically on the psychic um, day, right? So you yes. had me discuss stuff with them. What other things do you teach? Yeah, so that particular program that you were at was my introductory um, to explore and enhance your own spirituality. So we touched on clairvoyance, empath, claircognizant, psychic. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming to do that. They really oh, enjoyed awesome. it. Are you kidding me? And great. so I have introductory, intermediate, advanced, and ACE. And so we take you basically through A to Z of how do I develop my own spirituality? Or I know what I'm getting, but I don't know why I'm getting it or how to interpret it. That seems to be the biggest thing. I feel like most folks have the ability to receive the information, but what do I do with it now? Exactly. Right? So exactly. Um, everybody that has kind of been involved in these programs has kind of stuck with their groups of people. So they've created bonds over Love these that. times. So that's amazing. Um, so outside of learning to do those types of things, I'm also offering career um like, what is my life's purpose? How am Beautiful. I supposed to know if I'm supposed to be doing work in massage or, um, you know, business? Exactly. And I think that comes from my uh, education and work experience as an HR professional. Yes. So I think that that's where my draw comes from for that. Like, how can I help people really achieve some satisfaction in their life? Let's talk about um, the Halo Awards that you have created and... It's like an homage to the industry. So please share that mm -hmm. with us. We understand. So as most things happen in my life, I'm guided by the spiritual messages that I receive. And so for the past few years, I have really, really been drawn to trying to honor and acknowledge people that are working in the spiritual industry. Um, and then as well, the holistic industry as well, because they are, I feel, hand in hand. Of so course. yeah, you're yeah. driven to heal. You're driven to do those things. So yeah. together now. I was trying to figure out how I was supposed to do that. And then I got more of a divine message, I believe. So I had a dream that we were supposed to be honoring people through an award service and that um, 
great. What types of things I was supposed to acknowledge? So, of course, starting out, we have like a, an idea of, of 10 different categories um, that kind of cover the broad spectrum. And then as the award ceremony, ceremony goes on, then right. we can kind of define it a bit better. Perfect. So, of course, however I'm led is what we're going to do. But so many people in this field, as with any other field, um, need to be acknowledged for their 100%. work. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. So I'll, I'll pass you that $100 bill so that I can get one of the awards. <laughs> yeah. no, just kidding. <laughs> no problem. You're yeah. first on the list. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, I'm, I'm super pumped about that because this is new. This is new for us. Like, there's a lot of industries out there that have you know, award ceremonies or at recognition of the work that people are doing. And this is, let's face it, a thankless job. Yes. I mean, we do get a lot of love and um, gratitude from the people that we mm -hmm. work with. But I always tell people that are thinking of getting into this industry, you know, if they want to, if they want to do this for a living, mm -hmm. that it's not an easy job to do. You're, you, I liken it to a social work um, crisis counselor, um, you know, you name it. And it's intense getting involved in other people's lives. Do you find that as well? I 100% agree. Because I, we feel it like it's happening to us. It is. And that's the, the spot in which I'm working on myself yeah, to too. try to understand where does that person end and Amber begin? Because yes. that's been a struggle for my whole life. Yes. Um, so, you know having to develop a way to ground or balance or cleanse or release that um it, i work on it every day i'm very mindful of it yeah. and it doesn't always go as planned no, because I'm you're the same. kind of being whipped around yeah. and um you know the environment changes yeah. or someone or walks a text in the room. comes in yep. or an email comes in or a phone call comes in and you've got to help me now yes right those and calls those although and as an empath, you're drawn to want to be able 100%. to do that. Yeah. Um, and so even just on my way here, I was thinking, oh, my goodness, I, how am I going to fit somebody in? Because I don't have enough hours today. That's so exactly. now I'm getting into, does somebody come at 1 a.m.? Like, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't do I'll that do, to yourself. I'll do it, but I, I don't know. I'm kind of tired. So. I, I actually start at 6 a.m. Oh, my God. I Liz. do. So I can get the people like on the other side of the planet coming in and they can start earlier. Yeah, time zone. It's just easier. It's yes. easier. And I like getting up early anyway. So, but I finish at 11 yeah. in the morning. That's when I'm done. I don't want to do any more. I'm done. It makes it so much easier. And right? I'm not a morning person, so it takes yeah. me a little bit longer to get moving in the morning. Yeah. And um, part of that might be the energy that I've been using. So it kind of takes a, a yeah. minute to get ready. So I kind of start later in my day. I don't go before 11. Perfect. See, yeah. see that's yeah. but we have to find the the part that works for us. Yes. That's how it works. The balance. Um, you know, your um, your uh work in the in the medium field I mean I've worked with you on stage like we've done um we call them um evening with spirit yes. and we actually have one coming up uh for those in the area but it's basically um for those that have never attended a show like that it's basically why don't, why don't I let you explain what it is to have an evening with spirit with somebody like yourself so um as a medium that participated in an evening with spirit, it is, that is exhausting as well, I just have to say, it because is. It you're is. picking up all of the information. So let's say we have 100 participants that are coming to watch the show. All of those 100 people are looking for a message. So it's the pull of, please let this person come through. Yeah. So it is a little challenging to separate yourself in that moment. So let's say there's four mediums that are doing readings and we each do a half an hour session. I have to sit quiet and bite my tongue for an hour and a half because I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I can't say anything. I have to wait my turn. Yeah. But spirit might not be waiting their turn. So as a medium, yeah. I'm fighting with everybody around me to say, just a second. It's going to be my turn soon. And then the 30 minutes comes and goes just like that. Just like that. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I wasn't done yet. Yeah. I have to yeah. keep talking. <laughs> so, um, so I think that... You are fun to watch. I have <laughs> yeah. to say. You're fun to watch. I have you... a fun time yeah, in anything I do in life. So I kind yeah. of have to you know, compose myself and that only lasts Don't ever, so don't filter <laughs> so yourself. That, yeah. Don't ever do that. Yeah. So we had fun. a fun time um, where I was doing a, a an, an event and you just happened to be in the audience and you were being connected to through 
somebody who I had recently just lost, um, a friend of mine had passed. Yes. And, and it was like three weeks or four weeks since she had passed. And she was knocking on your door, basically, oh. at the event. You're sitting in the audience, minding your own business. And here she is knocking on your door, trying to connect with you yes. to give me messages. So that kind of stuff is what it's like being, you know, yeah. on on t- on like in tune all the time you can't like do you have a way of shutting it off okay so that's part of what i'm working on and i don't think forever i will be able to do that like i think that i can do it to a certain extent right and then after that it's all bets off because i think my soul knows i want to help yes so i'm fooling myself to say i'm busy right now go away <laughs> I would never do that. So yeah. I would always be like, okay, one moment, please. But I would never be like, nobody, I can't help you. Yeah. Um, so that is, they know that. And that's why they're going to approach me. So, yeah. um, so living as a medium is challenging because I could meet somebody and immediately know you know, the energy that they're putting off, I'm reading that. Yes, me too. Not getting in your brain and medi- reading your mind, but just the energy that you're putting out is what I'm reading and picking up on. Now, do we, do we have anybody else in your family that's experiencing the same gifts that you have? I think everybody. Yeah. Honestly, I think everybody. Yeah. The more that I talk about it and the more that I'm empowering people to, to accept it, yeah. I think it's just normal around my house now. Beautiful. I don't think any of my children would say that they're psychic or that they're a medium, but they do very heavily rely on coincidences and gut feelings. <laughs> <laughs> so that is literally, you know, it's just tapping into your coincidences yes. and gut feelings yeah. on a regular basis. Yeah. Well, that's been uh, this has been really fun, and thank you so much, Amber. I could talk to you for days. I could talk for to days. you for days. We should do that one time, right? Let's do it. <laughs> to date. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna end this uh, this show today, and thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in, and uh, remember to to touch base with us next week for another great guest. Take care.